Hello everyone, this is Admiral Playerowski bringing you Atlantic Fleet. Single battle. Custom battle. <laughs> I should have said this is a very nervous Admiral Playerowski. Because I'm going to be outnumbered. I, I, wait, why have I added the, no, we didn't need to add the Beric. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. I, I can't even add the right ships in. <sighs> I'm, I'm genuinely nervous. I wonder if I can suffer. Can I take the Prince Eugen? <laughs> oh, I'm, I am asking so much. Am I even going to win this or not? Or is this going to be the first one that I completely, you know, go wrong on? Here we go. Because <laughs> I don't have big guns. They've got 8 inch shells. I've got 8 inch shells. So, quite frankly, it's... <laughs> I guess it's... I mean, I'll put it to you this way, even if their shooting is twice as bad as mine, they're still going to deal the same amount of damage. Because I only have one ship! And that's really bad! I mean, this is mostly my fault for thinking this would be a good idea. But I don't know, I guess. Oh. Stop whinging about! Stop whinging about, you're the proud recipients of the Order of the Jammy Dodger, for goodness sake. You can't just whinge about like that when things get difficult. It's not in the spirit. Fire away. Right, here we go. I mean, I guess if my shooting is really, really, really good, then maybe... Maybe we have a chance, but... Is it is it going to be that good though? I have my doubts. I really do be having my doubts, especially as they've hit me before. I'm going to check what my damage is. Let's have a look. Anything damaged? No, they haven't actually damaged anything. But you saw it. I saw it as well. There were hits scored on the very first salvo, and for that reason. I do have to, you know, respond to that somehow. I got 16.1. No, 16.1. And fire. Here we go. Come on. Oh, still missed. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. I cannot afford to be missing like that. I cannot be afford to be missing at all. I have to be scoring consistent hits all the time, damaging turrets, knocking out pumps. Should be the other way around. Damaging pumps and knocking out turrets. That's what I need to be doing. What am I actually doing? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Whatever you call this. Oh, here we go. All right, we've, we've done something. We've done something, good. I've evened out the score a little bit, but are they going to even it out even more? Well, the Norfolk isn't going to even it out. What about the Suffolk? Yeah. Or not? No. No. Done anything? <laughs> oh, don't you just really like it when a plan comes together like this. The pumps are damaged. The pumps are damaged. So all we need to do now is just do a little bit more and we've pretty much got the Suffolk at that point. I will admit that's a very lucky hit. I'm going to admit that right here, right now, completely voluntarily. It was a very lucky hit to take out the pumps. And whilst I'm gloating about effectively ending the Suffolk, I have to remember that Norfolk is still completely unscratched and still a pretty big threat. Yes, I might be a little bit faster, I might have better armour, but, you know, at the end of the day, 8-inch guns are 8-inch guns, and they're gonna hurt, especially on a heavy cruiser like that. 
Because if this was a battleship, if like I, if like I said in the intro, if this was the Bismarck, I'd have a field day as the Germans. As the British, I'd get annihilated, but as the Germans, I'd have a field day. The best hope would be... Oh, the best hope would be to turn and run away. But here, you've got two cruisers against one cruiser, so this is... If I was the Germans, if anything, I'd turn and run, but I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not like that. I don't like to run away. I like to stay here and fight. Right, let's drop it down to 15-1. Fire! Come on. That's a big explosion. So superstructure is blown up. I'm sure that's caused all sorts of damage as well, I'd like to think. The Norfolk's getting really close, or is that the game being being somewhat, you know, strange with the graphics? I couldn't think of what word to use then. Oh, oh, how are you doing? Pumps are still damaged, All right? And a AAA is destroyed. How am I doing though? 26.9 knots. We are slowing down, I think. Well, I, I, I guess that's not, that's, that's not surprising really, is it? <laughs> we have been hit. And for that reason, we can't run at top speed. It's kind of obvious really, but still. The Norfolk looks so much closer from this angle than it does from my angle. Ah, no! No, that's bad, they've set a fire. We've got to take out the Suffolk really quickly, so then we can focus on the Norfolk. I have to check how close the Norfolk is. I'm really interested. 13,676. And the Suffolk is 18,000. So propulsion is also damaged on the Suffolk. I might even use torpedoes to get the... the Norfolk. Suffolk, I'll finish off with the guns, I think. There's no point trying to, you know... I don't think I could even launch torpedoes because they're out of range. Right, there goes the Suffolk. Here we go. It's 1v1. Prince Eugen versus the Norfolk for the win. My goodness, if I pull this off... Wow. Yeah. I mean, going down... I, Going down fairly slowly, but going down nevertheless. Right, so Norfolk, it is now your turn. So let's turn a little bit to port, just to really bring things into perspective properly. Yeah, we're going down very quickly, 25.7. We were at 26.9 before. Right, we have no targeting information. Absolutely none whatsoever. Can we use any? Well, no, not really. Right. So let's... I'm just going to go 10.1 then. 10.1, because why not? Fire. I, I don't have anything else. Whoa! Good job! Good job on guessing the elevation. Oh, that was very painful! That was very painful to watch. What have they done? Aft spotter heavily damaged, aft, ra aft radar lightly damaged, D turret destroyed, port torpedo tubes lightly damaged, AAA destroyed, but what have we done? <clears throat> AAA heavily damaged, uh, of course. Uh, of course, that's what we've done. Uh, that was a really good hit salvo for them, I, I will admit. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It was a really good salvo for them. Fire. We only have three turrets firing, but I'm not going to give up that easily. No! Oh my goodness! No! We're very close, that's why. So AAA is destroyed now. What's happened here? 
Oh my, really? Sea Terror is damaged heavily now as well. The After Spotter is still lightly damaged. Right, in that case then, what we're going to do is turn hard to starboard. We can't bring all our guns to bear, we might as well just do this. 9.8, I'll drop it to 9.1. 9 and fire. Nice! Perfect! It's exactly what I wanted to happen. Waterline hits and a big explosion. I think. Have we damaged the pumps? Or is this just a big. Oh no! What have we done? Nothing at all! When will we get the sea turret back? So sea turret will be back online soon. Let's move. 9.0 was there, so let's drop it down a little bit more. We've come forward. 8.7. Fire. Oh yeah. Oh, lovely big explosions. Mind you. So there goes my sea turret. Oh, I am heavily damaged. Forward spotter, forward radar, C turret, D turret, triple A are all but gone, destroyed. And the starboard torpedo tubes are heavily damaged. Right, in that case, then we're going to harder starboard again. Hide! Hide away as much of the ship as possible. And then that way, I don't present a big target for them to fire at. Are they turning away? Oh, torpedoes! Well, unfortunately for you, I've still got rudder control and and propel propulsion control, so... Yeah. Can we see them yet? No. I mean, I was going to continue the turn anyway. Let's turn maybe 20 degrees to starboard. Perfect. Excellent. Now we can close the range. Well, it's not really the best idea, but, you know don't have any others yeah I think we should be fine we'll go in between these two here running away or not yet still firing at us very close very very close I fear we may be a slightly scuttled if we don't finish the Norfolk off quickly we're gonna be scuttled I think C 7.9, we'll go to 7.7 because we're closing in. Fire! Come on, we've got to sink the Norfolk! We've got to sink the Norfolk. Right, we've damaged their aiming equipment, I think. Let's just check. No, no, we haven't. Triple A is destroyed, but nothing besides that. So their torpedoes are going to miss as well. Either side of us. 7.7, let's drop it to 7.5. Fire! Close, close. I might aim for the turrets actually on the next turn. Oh, here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, very close. Continue closing in. We don't have anything to fire with at the stern, so that's, you know, it's a bit of a, somewhat of a benefit, I guess, of having the rear turrets destroyed. You don't need to expose your entire ship, and that's a big explosion. Come on, I hope that's damaged something like the pumps, for example. No! Oh, no, 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 that hurt. That really hurt. How are we doing? 17.4, we're down to 17. Do you know what? The Prince Eugen is remarkably tough. I thought we'd be down much more than that. I'm just going to come out and say that right now. Come on, sink already. Not good. 
What's hit? Oh, nothing. We've managed to actually... Yeah. We're 10,000 metres away. I mean, yards away. Let's close in a little bit more. We might launch torpedoes later. 7.3... Oh, I am. I am very sorry if you heard that. That was that was some rude person outside on their motorbike. Come on, sink already! Can't take much more of this, you know. Oh goodness me! A and B turret are damaged as well now. smoke. Let's make smoke. That'll confuse their aiming, I hope. Uh, how far away are they? 8,566. Are, are the port torpedo tubes active? They are. Do you know what, then? Let's turn to starboard and try and use the torpedoes to finish the... Oh, that's not a good angle. Can we not do it? If I could, if the angle was correct, we'd have six torpedoes to go. Interesting, very good. But we don't, we only have shells for now. Ah, uh, well that's not good. We don't... Yeah, let's go for these, maybe. We only have one turret firing as well. Shoot! I mean, fire! Come on. Oh, not good. We're going to be scuttled at the end of this, I think. How are the torpedo... Oh, not nice, that. That is not nice at all. The torpedo tubes are damaged that I wanted to use. Not good. Ouch. We're going to cancel each other out, aren't we? Do I still have a turret to fire with? I do. Right, in that case then, we're going to turn hard port. Well, try and turn hard port. Try and use the remaining turret to buy us some time. They've still got all four! Oh, and that's set a fire as well. Oh no, both torpedo tubes are damaged. <sighs> At least we still have the B turret. That's something. It's something, but it's not very much. Come on, sink already. That's my final turret gone. Torpedo tubes? Nope. Well, there we have it. I, I <laughs> there is nothing I can do in terms of offensive operations now. We're on fire from stem to stern. All our turrets are destroyed. Uh, what do I even do then? I guess I could try and turn to launch torpedoes, potentially. We're going to lose the Prince Oigan, aren't we? I'm going to gamble that we're going to be able to use the port torpedo tubes to launch our payload at the Norfolk, because the Norfolk's slow. Norfolk is very slow. 
So if we're able to launch torpedoes, we're going to get the Norfolk. But will we be able to do that? I'm, I'm not sure if we will. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that, unfortunately. The angle is still not right. We're still unable to do it. Can we even do it, if, even if I wanted to? No. Can't even do it if we wanted to now. There we go. There goes the Prince Wagon. Ah, well, I was nervous, and quite rightly so. Prince Eugen is sinking. But yeah, literally everything that could be damaged was damaged, pretty much. The only things that weren't damaged were the steering, main spotter, aft spotter, main radar, and aft radar. Everything else either destroyed or heavily damaged. And the Norfolk isn't in good shape either. Yeah. Yeah, I, I figured. Well, there we have it, I guess. Action reports on the British side. The heavy cruiser Norfolk was scuttled for 10,500 tonnes. The heavy cruiser Suffolk was sunk for 10,500 tonnes. And the, on the German side, the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen was sunk after giving one incredible fight, one incredible performance, was sunk for 16,000 tons, a score of 5,000. I mean, I took on a fleet twice my size and, well, we cancelled each other out. So there you have it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Remember to tick the bell for notifications so you are notified when I upload a video. Remember, I do daily uploads, so make sure you tick that bell, otherwise you may not get a notification when a video goes up. That's all from Admiral Playerovsky for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in future videos. Bye-bye.